Lastly, I have the honor of introducing Kang Ming Ma. Kang Ming of Eurofence has been a wonderful promoter and volunteer for AOCS, serving in many ways, including with divisions, the China section as a session chair for many years, award reviewer and an expert on panels and methods development committees. Today, he will talk about his volunteering journey. Thank you so much, Kang Ming, for being here today. Well, thank you, Janet, for the nice introduction. Uh, well, not until this point, I didn't realize how many volunteering experience I have, which means I really love AOCS. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to uh, talk to you um, here, uh, I'm going to start with the Rapid Physical Non-Destructive uh, Subcommittee, once more volunteers. Then I'm going to finish my talk with some uh, per personal experience and suggestions how to volunteer uh, within AOCS. So what is the committee? Uh, the committee I present is the Rapid Physical and Non-Destructive Methods Subcommittee, which is one of the committees under the Uniform Methods. Uh, as you know, the AOCS methods uh, all started from this committee and being evaluated and voted to be official methods. In particular, what this subcommittee covers, uh, examples of the technology and the methods includes methods based on chemometric analysis, uh, spectroscopy methods, FTIR, NIR, NMR, et cetera. Uh, so by the nature, which is fast, uh, physical properties, uh, non-destructive or physical material, non-destructive. So who can volunteer? As you know, from the previous two uh, presenters uh, covered the session chair and also the uh, editors. Uh, for this particular opportunity, uh, eventually is opened for anyone, although the preference is, is given to the AOCS members. Uh, who is motivated to make an impact in the industry. Uh, again, this is more like the methods related. And even you are not specialized in the method of development, you can still volunteer because you might be a user of the methods. You will have some insights to make suggestions or to evaluate the methods to make sure we cover all the fronts to make it a very reliable method for all, the in, for all the members and also the industry. So I'm gonna use the example. This is what this committee currently want people to review. This method is AM1A-09. Uh, so this is the, I put a screenshots of this method. Uh, it is AM1A-09, near infrared spectroscopy instrument management and prediction model development. Uh, so right now we are looking for volunteers to review this method to identify the areas we can revise. So that is just one of the example what this committee does, modify, revise existing methods. This committee is also accept the application from uh, companies, from individuals, who wants to want to have this committee to review a new method which can be included at this committee as the uh, official method. So those are the very typical tasks uh, for the members within this committee. So if you feel you are interested and you feel this is the area of your expertise, then we want you to be involved in this process. So this is where uh, in the, during the, the in addition to the um, uh, review of this method, and you may be asked to coordinate the method validation and the proficiency testing based on certain uh, method. So this is also part of the functionalities uh, of the subcommittee. 
uh, then you can also offer your innovation ideas and to say, you know, um, out of the box thinking uh, to make contribution to the method review and improvement. So the first step is always hard, but it's also easy to express your interest to get into the process. There are two ways you can volunteer for the method committee. You can complete the AOC's volunteer form at this website. And you can also contact uh, Scott Bloomer. He is the director of the technical services at the e email address here. Uh, so either way, um, you will be contacted by the AOCS, by the committee, and then that's always the first step. It's not difficult. So I encourage you to take the step to get involved right away. So I just have some uh, uh, thoughts, you know, how I have been involved with involved in AOCS and also uh, IFT. I always want to make a comparison here. IFT is huge organization, but I like the AOCS for the volunteering experience. AOCS is more focused. It's also creative. Uh, I re still remember in the earlier times when I was a student, I eventually approached some uh, uh, committee members to ask, hey, I'm a student, how can I volunteer? You know, eventually that the analytical division at that time said, well, we can't have you work with our session chairs as a student session chair. So just because you, you want to get involved, we're going to create something for students. That is how creative and how open the AOCS organization is. Never too early to volunteer. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to wait until you're uh, experienced. You can always start as a student. You can always start after school. Uh, it's a process. It's a learning process. Get involved. You are not only to make friends, make to understand how the industry is going, and that is a strong cornerstone to build your career. The other suggestion I would like to share is every time when you attend the AOCS conference, it's too short. You almost feel, you know, at the first day you arrive, then you, you understand how the, all the pieces together, but tomorrow the, meet, the conference is already completed. So how you balance the time you spend to listen to the seminars and also the time you spend to network. Uh, so there's always, in my opinion, they are equally important. So you need to prepare ahead of time to make some tasks to set up, set up goals for each conference. Those goals should it be, could it be, hey, I want to know what are the openings for the volunteers? Then, you know, who is organizing that? You can eventually make connections. I always suggest you step up and you ask around, hey, who is, for example, Mike, who is, analyzed, who is chairing the sur surfactants detergent session. And then you can eventually go approach Mike to talk to Mike, hey, I want to get your uh, suggestions. Just tell me step-by-step step how I can get involved. So looking back how I got involved, I eventually wanted to ask the, uh, uh, Andy uh, Proctor at the U University of Arkansas he was heavily involved in different uh, committees. Then I asked, hey, I said, well, Dr. Proctor, can, uh, how can I get involved? He said, hey, come with me. I'm going to bring you to the round table discussion. I'm going to bring you into this uniform methods meeting. You just sit there, you listen, and then you say which session you want to volunteer, and then you can start. You just raise your hand. Because as I said earlier, AOCS, is a very open. Even sometimes they have more volunteers to volunteer for one session. It's okay. They still want you to be getting involved. They will come up with some ways to include you. So you will feel at home at AOCS. 
uh, that's all I want to share. Thank you very much. Go back to you, Janet. Thank you, Kang Ming. That, that was really good. And, and you have recruited somebody for your method development, a committee already. Excellent. Good work. And um, I really like your, your proactive approach. You were, you're interested and so you make that connection. And I think that's, that's always important um, because even if, you know, I was gonna kind of ask you a tough question, like, have you ever tried to get on a committee but then you didn't get on it? Maybe didn't get on it right away. Like, what, what did you do or, or how did that happen? And what'd you learn from that? Uh, yeah, I think uh, when I started to uh, get into the analytical, uh, I mean, uh, steering committee, I eventually, I think, waited for two years. Uh, but again, you know, that's always the, you know, people need to get know, know you better. Then you need to know how the system operates. And that is also, uh, you know, you need some like a, um, uh, people know you, they can trust you, they know ex your expertise, they know how you can make all the, uh, you know, networking. Uh, so, and also there's like a timing, right? So when people go tights, then you, you are on the list, you start to volunteer as a treasury, then you can volunteer as the vice chair, then the chair. Uh, so as I understand, you can always go back again, start another circle if you want to. And you can also move to the uh, division uh, council. So there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, yes, sometimes it will take time, but don't give up. That's excellent advice. Thank you, Kang Meng. And about for methods development, any any idea on the number of hours you're spending per year or per month on on this volunteer role? Uh, I would say somewhere from twenty to thirty hours. On the you know depends on how many methods we're going to review. Uh, so some of the review it may basically need to send you a a method. Uh, uh, like a uh, um, description, and you can look through some of the areas, hey, you know, to raise some comments, uh, to see what it would need to be done. Maybe some technology already involved, instrumentation already involved. Uh, so then you make kind of suggestions. Then uh, what, how this work is, uh, all for the annual conferences, you will have emails, you have conference calls, that's how you get involved. But when you get to on site to the, or now this year is the virtual, you do need to go to the uniform uh, method committee because that is the place where you can see how people interact, not only for our subcommittee, but for all the committees. Uh, so that is the time you, you need to spend. And even the other thing I would say during the conference call, uh, during the conference or after the conference, if you have some ideas if you know some people is working on a new method, you can also encourage them, hey, you may want to submit this method to the AOCS method committee. They can mm -hmm. help you to go through the process to make your method official. Excellent, very good advice. All right, well, that's all the specific questions I have for you. Thank you again so much, King Ming, for your expertise and, and insights today. We're going to bring everybody back for a little panel discussion, so stay tuned. <laughs>